This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. Well, given the form he's been in, Stuart, you would expect quite a lot of the attacking to go through Neymar. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him, his movement is excellent, and in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Vitor Ferreira starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Cristiano Ronaldo starts with Usman Dembele in the wide positions. And the starting role in attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. And now the Champions League final commences. Lewandowski. And we saw the situation developing. Now, what can Lionel Messi do from here? Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. Fabian. Ronaldo. Pedri. Now Lewandowski carries the ball forward. But can he produce from this position? De Jong might take the lead. Really important tackle. Neymar. Good visualisation and execution. Well, deemed to be offside by the merest of margins. Well, it's very close to being the perfectly timed run. But whether it's an inch or a yard, he's still offside. Mbappe. Gavi. Here's Ronaldo. And Barca moving the ball with purpose. He's taken on his opponent here. Well, then there to tidy up. Kylian Mbappe. And fed forwards. And Neymar. Can they forge ahead? Had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. 
Dembele. No, high quality defending. Mbappe. Well, continues his run, but really sticking to the task defensively. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Pedri. Gavi. And a creative look about this. Tempele. Borderline offside, but correct. Messi Mbappe with it Ferreira a very timely interception Lionel Messi there to take it away Messi Dembele Lewandowski now promising move from Barcelona Lewandowski very alert defending to put a stop to the chance this is looking threatening but nothing comes of it and Neymar and return to Messi. Just cutting off the supply. Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he find the right pass? Tempele. Could play it in. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Lionel Messi Vitor Ferreira now what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position a fine reading of the situation Pedri Tempele on to Ronaldo It's a perfect challenge. Messi. It has to be. Oh, in it goes. The opening goal in the UEFA Champions League final. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his market, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. Our story has been told then here at the Estadio Metropolitano. Into the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory. And Neymar. Now he must favour the cross. 
Verratti, can he put it away? Safe pair of hands, did his job. Frankie de Jong. Well, they have it again. And Neymar, it's Neymar! Oh, terrific save! Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Going for the short one. Ferreira. Return to Neymar. He's using his strength to good effect. Very comfortable when in possession. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Mensch. Vitor Ferreira really getting stuck in. Thirty minutes to go then. Pedri. This is Robert Lewandowski. Gabi. Ronaldo. Lewandowski really important piece of last ditch defending could be a chance to break here Mbappe just the challenge that was required Fabian now with Messi well a classic example of how to intercept twenty minutes remaining Ronaldo and now passing it through Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Neymar Messi Neymar shielding the ball superbly Neymar Verratti now Mbappe he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one Pedri it's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage and possibilities here very quick thinking there Mbappe and the counter looks on here options available and Neymar well, they stopped them in their tracks. Dembele, chance to do damage. De Jong, offensive Brazilians to shut them down. Vitor Ferreira, 
Messi. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Fired in by Neymar. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Barcelona on the front foot in anticipation of scoring the winner. Crossing opportunity. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. So away they go again, the first period of extra time, and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Pedri, excellent passing. An encouraging move from Barca. Dembele. Parried away. Another play then. Barcelona throw coming up. Well, what a good save that was. Barcelona should really be in front now. That could prove to be a big moment in the game. Well, pushing again for a goal. Look, a goal it is, and a typical Robert Lewandowski finish. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Disappointing for PSG to concede the goal. Now let's see if they can attack with vigour. And a tidy challenge. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Might be able to set up the chance. Neymar. This could be the equaliser. This might be ideal for the counter. Defenders need to cover. And space to cross it. Lewandowski. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. And good pressure high up the pitch. The high press was on, and the chance is on. He's foiled them on his own. So at the halfway stage in extra time, and 15 more minutes left. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Hakimi. Neymar. Strong but fair tackle. Pedri. And Torres on the ball. De Jong. And played the pass well. Ronaldo at the ready. Not messing around with that clearance. Mbappe. Can they hit on the break? And Neymar. And that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. 
And Barcelona being afforded too much space. But they took care of the situation defensively. Hugo Ekitike. Now options are plenty. PSG chasing this game. They're not out of it. Fabian. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Oh, a lovely ball. And it's a goal for Paris Saint-Germain to square this game. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So the ball is running again at 2-0. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. On the attack, is there to be late drama? And it has all come down to this in the Champions League final. A shootout to determine the winners. Penalty shootout about to commence, and as a player, this is when you have to hold your nerve. Oh, he saved it! And he scores! Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And it's gone in! He had to score, and he does! His turn to try to convert from the spot. And confidently converted. And the keeper makes the all-important save. What a big moment. So lethal in front of goal. And he steps up to take the shot. And the keeper denies them from the spot. A goal here to finish it. He's gone for the Panenka, but he might be wishing he hadn't. So much pressure. If he fails to score, they lose. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final.